Earl, you got a new smartphone. Yes, I have transitioned into the 21st century. There we go. There mm-hmm. we go. It was not an easy transition, oh, however. Yeah, I was going to say. So you had a flip phone until a week ago. I had a flip phone. The and flip phone decided that it had had enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when I went to Verizon, I let them talk me into upgrading to a smartphone. Because they don't sell flip phones no more. Well, they do. <laughs> do they? they? Do. I could have huh. got a free Flip phone. Yeah. Well, right. hell, that gives you had a free yeah. phone. I had yeah. a free one. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, after years of being tormented by a buddy about my flip phone, I, <laughs> <laughs> you know, thought, well, okay, I'll give this a try. Yeah. How'd that work out for well, you? Well, I'm worth it now. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I got the phone home and I went to tapping on that thing and to playing with it. And I, oh, Lord, I transitioned to phone numbers. Of course, now they couldn't. Yeah, I download my all my numbers, so I was having to do them manually. manually. Oh yeah. Oh. So Tuesday evening, I spent all evening typing in phone numbers yep. and all this stuff. Well, then Wednesday, it was time to download some apps. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm I'm fixing to do something here. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, that went over like a turn in the punch bowl. You see. <laughs> It kept wanting me to sign in to iTunes. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Well, what do you want on iTunes? I didn't want no damn iTunes. Uh, yeah. I wanted apps. Right. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't need an iTunes. Yeah. I don't, I don't know need what that music. Is. I need yeah. apps. I have a radio. I don't need iTunes. <laughs> exactly. Well, I fought this thing all day Wednesday. Went over to my niece's house. And said, Show me how to do this. I'm obviously doing something wrong. Well, hey, hello, she's, fool with how old you need? Seven, eight, uh, nine. nine. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, she ended up shaking her head. Well, I, I don't know. I, yeah. Your phone ain't acting like mine. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Look at all these cool apps I got. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they do all kinds of stuff. You want to download you some? Yeah. <laughs> Let me download an app to see how to work this. So, yeah. yeah. So I go back home Wednesday evening, and I fool with it till 10, 11 o'clock at night, and I'm getting madder by the minute. Oh, no, yeah. Mm-hmm. They do that. So they do that now. On Thursday, I commenced to fool them with it some more. <laughs> and then I went out to Donnie Ray Spearman's and had his wife take a look at it. Mm-hmm. She's got one like mine. She's just got apps out the yin Oh, yeah. Well, you got to do this. You got to do that. We'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, needless to say, after about 45 minutes to an hour, she commenced to shaking her head. Man, uh, this ain't working. No. So you might you, you might have got a bad one. As it turns out, I think I did. Yeah. Because mm. Friday morning at 10.01, when mm. the Verizon store opened, little Earl was there at the door. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> And I, I Wait a minute! Not I proceeded to give them my phone number. You know how you got to check in, give me your phone. Oh yeah. And I warned them right up front. <laughs> I said, "Now let me, let me, let me go ahead and tell you, I am not a happy camper. I'm going to be unpleasant to deal with because <laughs> <laughs> this smartphone is supposed to do all these amazing things, and mine won't do shit." Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, come on, Mr. Hawkum, let's see if we can fix you up. Now, that's a good idea. Let's, let's get me fixed up because yeah. I'm unhappy at the moment. Let's keep that Mr. Hawkum thing going, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I like it. Don't be shortening it down to Earl now. I'll beat your ass. So uh, <laughs> this gal gets over there and she goes to typing things, and I'm saying, now, now, hang on a second. You might be fixing the phone, but I have no idea what you're doing. You ain't fixing me. You right. know, I, I, if it does this again, I, I'm going to be, be back, able to do it. Be and back, I'm be and I'll be unhappy yeah. again yeah. Right. and unpleasant to deal with. Yeah. You and I are going to become good friends yeah. if you don't show me how to do it. So <laughs> she said, well, I, I'm just checking your settings and some other, you know. Well, I've been there and done that, and there ain't nothing wrong with the settings. So she proceeds to decide that my SIM card needs replacing. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Shouldn't have to replace a SIM card in a brand new phone, but... Wouldn't think so. We did. We uh-huh. replaced them. Well, that didn't seem to fix it either. Mm. So she mm. commenced to signing in and out and turning it on and off. And finally, after signing at either into or out of or both of the iCloud. 
Oh, yeah. That seemed to do the trick. Mm. Hmm. In the meantime, while she's doing all this, the guy next to me dealing with the other person, guess what he's buying? Same phone you got. Exact same phone. Oh. Uh. <coughs> so I'm looking at him going, hold up, Hoss. Hold up. <laughs> yeah. you know, hey, you better, look at this. Better See watch this. <laughs> yeah. Don't leave. See what I'm dealing with here? You get done paying for this <laughs> thing, just hang out. <laughs> so you know, Wait in line. And then, so she finally gets the thing to working. <coughs> and one of the things she turned off was this fingerprint thing. Yeah. Well... After she gets it where we can download an app, and I'm somewhat satisfied, still pissed, but oh, yeah. <laughs> somewhat satisfied, <clears throat> I go home, and everything I try to do, <clears throat> excuse me, when I touch, try to touch it, nothing happens. <laughs> mm. So, you know, it comes up, you know, you log in, sign in, you get the little blue yep. oval, you know. Well, I'm punching it with my finger, my thumb, my elbow, my knee. <laughs> sat on it once. Finally, hit it with a hammer. Yeah. It wouldn't Nothing. respond. It would not respond. No. So I'm thinking, you know. See, I, I know I'm catching on. Oh yeah. I said, Let me turn that finger thing back on. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Which I did, and of course I had to rescan my finger 417 times. Yeah. <laughs> Lo and behold, now when you hit accept or agree or sign in or i do or please or whatever it says it'll work ah. <clears throat> so i'm now networking and mobile and got me a smartphone oh yeah but i don't think it's made me any smarter well <laughs> when you go outside the first thing you do look up at the clouds is that what you do yeah i said that's my cloud <laughs> yeah just pick it man <laughs> sign in that, that cloud up there yeah <laughs> And then your neighbor's like, what are you doing, Earl? You're like, oh, that's my cloud up there. Yeah, like, well, I'm that's... making sure my phone's going to work. Yeah, now. Gotta i got to sure sign in. You know, I'm waiting on here. it to move so I can see the password. <laughs> so needless to say, they probably laughed all day Friday at the Verizon store about this dumbass redneck to come in there <clears throat> raising cane about his phone because <laughs> he wasn't smart enough to operate it. Well, now I'll say this, that I think it's a good thing that you got a new phone. Mm -hmm. And I hate that it didn't work immediately, but that's technology, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, and I, I came expected. to realize that, that, you know, it's... Uh, it all can't be a flip phone, can it? Yeah, life is not as simple as a flip phone. It but now you, you got you some apps, though. You got some apps. I got there. me the Bank of America. I got YouTube. I oh, got... Yeah. Uh, See, that's pretty much Garmin, all you need right there. Travel. Oh, yeah. If you get on that YouTube, <laughs> you can go to uh, got a place called uh, Your Boys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I did that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I done, I, even before, <laughs> as I was having trouble, before I went Friday and got things fixed, I found a way to get to podcast. There's an app already on the phone about podcast. Oh, yeah. That's so right. I hit it. Look at that. Typed in your boys. And I said, God almighty, who are these idiots? Yeah, <laughs> you know? that's exactly. Because I started listening to them. And I said, they got this one guy showing sure up, and he, he ain't real plumb. <laughs> He's out there, ain't he? Yeah, so so uh, y'all take notes. That's right. <laughs> Apple Podcast. Uh, well, hey, that's good. Uh, you are also telling us about the uh, ne the app called Numbers. Well, yeah. See, that's I got right. an app called Numbers. Now, I ain't sure <laughs> why I need an app called Numbers, because last time I was checking, there was only 10 of them. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know, you know, you could make any yeah. no, any one that you wanted out of those. I, I, don't, yeah. ten. I, I don't know. I mean, it, this is a smartphone; and it knows a lot more than I do, obviously. So, y'all tell me, are they coming up with new numbers now that I need to study on this app? You know, are there new numbers or different different mm -hmm. numbers that I need to? I don't know what it's for. On? But yeah, when you showed me the app and it was just a, like a bar graph that said numbers, I thought. <laughs> This is just going to help you. Like, if you forget, you know, hey. What what's comes that, after five? Yeah, yeah. what's that you one that's after on four? Yeah. yeah. You go in there, and it's just like a checklist. Like, one, two, ah, shit, four. That's yeah. That's, that's the one I that's forget. That's the one I missed. Yeah. yeah. But, but, but now, listen, I think there's something sinister about the whole thing. Uh-oh. Well, you got an app called Numbers. I got something called Keypad on mine. It does the same thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does your Keypad have Numbers? Yes, keypad. One, Does your two, keypad three, have letters? 
Yeah. No. You see, numbers ain't got letters. Numbers mm. is just numbers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, that's what my keypad does. It's just, you know. You probably got to download the letters out. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, well, there's, there is one. <laughs> and there's an art to that. <laughs> you might have found out. Yeah. <laughs> you can't get it on your phone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you couldn't get it on your my, old one. My now cloud ain't got that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, mine's man. the little cloud over there to the side of the big cloud y'all got. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you. Wait a minute. Get off my cloud, <laughs> idiot. Hey, oh, so, man. anyway, I'm now into the 21st century and yeah. i can i can learn how to do stuff i ain't learned how yet but i can learn how right. to do stuff you can figure it out because you know you see people they just whip their phone out and in three seconds they can tell you you know who was the secretary of state of the 41st president of yeah. guatemala right mm-hmm. you know well Oh, yeah. You and Siri are going to be good friends, I bet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Yeah, on first name basis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're double first cousins. (laughs) That's right. I can't wait (laughs) until you do get it figured out and you're like, hey, Siri. She's like, hey, Earl. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, Earl, what's up? (laughs) It's just a conversation. Not even asking or anything. Just like, hey, you good? Good. I'm good. I'm good. Doing good today. Thursday night, as I was getting madder and madder, I did (laughs) speak illy, ill to siri and yeah. ask her why my blanking and phone wouldn't work yeah <laughs> and she said i'm unable to answer that yeah. she said calm down Earl. <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Take it's, it easy, okay. Earl. it's okay it's gonna be all right <laughs> uh, <laughs> would you like an appointment tomorrow at Verizon? so it's not yeah. it's it's been a good week in the fact that i upgraded but it's been a bad week that it was not a pleasant experience well hopefully mm-hmm. now that it's you know passed Hopefully, it'll be smooth sailing. For and you and what you can do, Siri, she can set your appointments up at Verizon from now yeah. on. Yeah. That's right. She could do hey, that. Siri, tell them I'm coming back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Should I call emergency services? <laughs> no, Siri, not this time. Not this time. Well, you uh, are a good example of Craft a person who has a regular cab truck. Mm hmm. You drive a regular cab. Regular cab. Yeah. So I was thinking the other day, I wasn't thinking about you. you Not that I don't care about you, but I wasn't thinking about you. I understand. (laughs) But I I was riding down the road, and there was a regular cab truck in the left lane. And I thought, well, that's not uncommon. You know, there's two lanes. A lot of people don't know. The left one is for going faster, Mm -hmm. you know. We'll fix it at the break. And the uh, right one is just for cruising, you know, mediocre driving. Yeah. That's a good way to say it. Well, I I always think that, you know, the way I look at it, you know, the right lane is the Sunday afternoon drive. Yeah. The left lane, Saturday night drunk drive. So. Yeah, basically. Basically. Yep. Cruising to a barbecue right lane, late to work left lane. That's it. But I see a regular cab truck in the left lane, and it is holding up traffic severely. And I thought, well, that's a problem. You shouldn't be doing that, first of all. No, so you're then in the I, wrong lane, partner. I, I get to where I can pass it on the right because it's not getting out of the left lane, and I see that the person driving it has a baby seat in the passenger seat, which kind of led me to think deeper on who, sh- if you have, you know, who shouldn't be in the left lane. Regular cab trucks with baby passenger seats. Mm-hmm. You know, if you got a damn ladder rack on your truck, don't ever get in the left lane. Mm-hmm. For God's sake, that's, that's no. correct. If you have a ladder rack, don't get in the left lane. If you're an illegal alien, don't get in the left lane. Yeah, yeah. mind you know, your business. Yeah, you in can't the right get lane. Stopped. Don't draw exactly. attention to yourself. Yeah. If you got f- more than three people in a regular cab truck, don't ever get in the left lane. Mm-mm. You know. But I, th- I was and if you got a trailer that. behind you, don't get in the damn left lane. Yeah, no there they ought to be there ought to be signs up as you come out of Georgia on any road into mm-hmm. South Carolina that says, "Hey, dumbasses, with your Georgia tag, get out of the left lane." Yeah, yeah. Well, you yeah. People over here in South Carolina got somewhere they need to go. Yeah, and they that's don't a good need point. You in the way. Mm-hmm. I was behind someone from that had a Georgia tag. The other day, and they were doing 35 and a 55 in the left lane. Yes. So I passed them on the right, and I wasn't, you know, going anywhere, so I didn't have anywhere to be. So I passed them on the right and then cut them off in the left lane, which is a sign like, hey, you're an idiot. 
You know, if I cut wrong you off lane. close, you're mm-hmm. in the wrong lane. You gotta let them know. Well, then, little warning shot. Little, they, you know, they they aren't getting over. So I proceeded just to slow down. I stopped in the left lane. <laughs> yeah, and they stopped <laughs> and waited on you. Yeah, and then eventually they got in the right lane. You know, to pass me after about thirty seconds of waiting, and then I took off. Well, and they well, got they, back over. They the got lane. back in the. You know what I did? Yeah. Stopped again. <laughs> they got in the right lane, and then I took off. And then I guess that gave them the clue. Well, maybe I don't need to be in this lane. And maybe they stayed in the right lane. I threw them a big thumbs up out the window. I think it was a thumb. It was one finger. One of your fingers. One of my fingers. It was one finger. (laughs) Yeah. Just to let them know, hey, good job, idiot. (laughs) You know, you finally figured it out. But I did. The the thing that got me thinking about that was seeing a regular cab truck. I was like, man, that could be Earl. And I was like, Earl's not a dumbass. That's not Earl. He yeah, and the baby that. seat would have been a dead ringer that that ain't. <laughs> yeah, right. and, yeah. The tru- and that that truck was black, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that was another you know giveaway. And I got up there and I thought, is that Earl with a baby seat? What's he doing? <laughs> you know, and he just had like one of those pet monkeys strapped into it. I'd have been like, oh, that is Earl. <laughs> <You know? laughs> All right, so let me see. Let me see where we at here now. Earl has been been known as a flip phone. Single cab truck dude for a long time. Bingo. Mm-hmm. So now that I have upgraded to a smartphone. Oh, yeah. Now what? I, I think you guys are insinuating maybe I should upgrade to a extended cab truck. Well, now here's the deal. I think you can do whatever you want. <laughs> you know, first of all, because you're an adult. But it wouldn't surprise me one bit that after your hiatus next week, if you came back in like a damn Ram 3500 mega cab dude, yeah. you know, pull up, like, got a smartphone, look at my new truck. <laughs> like, what are you going to do with well, all that room? Just, You're like, I don't I know. Just, I may just do that. I may go ahead and upgrade trucks, too. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that brings a good point. How many times have you seen a, a one person riding in a like a crew cab doodly thirty five hundred doodly by itself? Yeah. What the hell did you buy this truck for? Yeah. yeah. A I mean, mega cab. Yeah. Well, no, I'm not gonna lie. If I had it my way, I would have had a mega cab, just because the one time a year I need to carry four people, yeah. I could have. You'd have plenty of room. Yeah. Too much room. Yeah. It's just like when I was buying my truck. I said, hey, we got this quad cab. I said, no, nah, it ain't going to work. He's like, why? It's just you. I'm like, good point. It will work. <laughs> not what I want. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. not that I one time. Not for the one, one time. Raise, you know, yeah. a year we need it. Like, yeah. You know, one time a year where we go to the beach and play golf. Got to have a crew cab. And then if I'd got that quad cab, we'd have been halfway to the beach. Whoever was in the back would have been. Bitching Stop, about it. Yeah, would have yeah. been bitching. <laughs> <laughs> and then I've been like, this is why we're, we're waiting on the crew cab. That's, right. <laughs> That's yeah. why we need that mega cab. Oh, yeah, exactly. So I got upgrading to do is what I'm hearing. Looks like oh, it's, yeah. you're going to have to. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. And while you're doing all that, you might as well go and get you another RV. Yeah, I've been looking yeah. in, in for a new RV. My other one it didn't make it back from Tennessee. No. Or, or mm-hmm. Washington. Or that one's going to be tough to put put back together yeah yeah he's a lot of, a lot of pieces yeah unless you love like lego sets <laughs> you know where what like, are the small puzzles called i like burnt puzzles yeah like a burnt like puzzle roasted puzzle yeah like a thousand piece burnt puzzle yeah, yeah. that's what then do. you could probably fix that one yeah, but yeah i'd just probably get a new one <laughs> and hell if you're gonna have that's, a damn 3500 dually you can get a big one. i can get a big camper yeah yeah, yeah. 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 You can get a full i get one of them six wheels or whatever what they call oh, yeah. it yeah. eight yeah. wheel yeah. Oh, let me get my numbers out. About two <laughs> I need to figure out which number I need what on that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need man. to pick the right number on that wheel. Uh, I was riding down the road the other day after I got around the truck in the left lane, you know, and I passed a uh, pasture of cows, and I thought, how often are they dying of natural causes? I've never seen a cow out in the field just dead. No. No, I mean, you don't. Uh-uh. No. And what would their natural cause? I thought. Shooting in the head with a twenty two was natural cause for a cow. I mean, yeah. Good I point. mean, if you if you get shot in the head with a twenty two, it's gonna you're naturally gonna die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, but one thing I did think about about that because you know how many times you've been going down the road to see a bunch of cows out there and they all huddled up. Yeah. I got thinking myself. I bet one of them died, and it's in the middle of that, and 
and they just hang around him all day till it gets dark. Yeah. And so you I can't they, see it. And then they start getting their hooves and digging a hole, I guess, for him or something. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. For all I know. They don't yeah. want people to see them digging a hole. Yeah. They're like, oh, they'll know we ceremony. can do more. They're having, yeah, they, they're having, yeah, they'll they're expect more out of services. it. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what they're doing. They're having a damn you know prayer vigil around little Jeff or whoever died. That's right. Or number 48, whatever his name was. <laughs> <laughs> whatever tag was in his ear. Yeah. I think what happens if, if a cow starts to show symptoms of being sick, yeah. Now, I don't know if that's a fever or a cough or a limp, whatever the sy- symptoms would be. They load that puppy up and get him to the slaughterhouse yeah. so that he don't die of natural causes. Right. Mm-hmm. That that may be why you just that's don't. Smart. You know, if you got cold climates, I would imagine you could freeze to death if you were a cow. You know, a lot of people put those little coats on them or whatever, but. Who's doing that? I, well, I'm glad you brought that up because I was going to take you up the road here. Yeah. And Josh has seen him, I know. I went up this road right over here. A man got two or three horses out there. Ugh. Got their coats on them. Yeah, he's got blankets on them. Mm-hmm. Horses are stupid, stupid is animals. It a, is it like a shawl or a vest jacket or, you know, it's, I mean. It's, it's more like a, like a bed spread. I mean, it's. Bed spread. Yeah, I mean, and I think he's cut holes for his legs. Yeah. And it just cinches mm-hmm. it up around them or yeah. something. I don't know. Yeah, it yeah. looks like a fitted sheet with some holes cut in it. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a bad idea. Yeah. Cut holes in your corners, yeah. it'll yeah. fit around the horse. Yeah, it, it does. Got that built-in like elastic? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, that, that's, that could be a market. And yeah. you can right. tell, and, and, and with those horses anyway, you can tell their, their social status because, you know, one of them got like a, a you know red blanket yeah. on or whatever it is. One of them got like a blue, and then there's one horse out there. He got like this majestic purple with a big crown on the side of it. Oh yeah, you mm-hmm. know? yeah, that'd be your lead horse. Well, that's what we, I think. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's well, one of them had it. Uh, the some of the horses had their uh, initials monogrammed on them. Yeah, and that's how I knew it was really fancy. I was like, ooh. Yeah, wow, those horses. And that one, made, that you know. one had like a, you know, now it was purple, but it had, you know, the hat the Pope wears. He had like one across his ears and stuff. Mm-hmm. That's the lead horse right there. Yeah, yeah. they got to put the blinders on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. He's got his own. Especially helmet. when there's nothing. That'd be horses. the bell cow of horses. Huh? <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> exactly. Well, I hate horses, and um, shout out. I, uh, I, I have it on record. First chance I get to kill one, I'm going to. Well, <laughs> see, and we know that. And what we don't know is why you hate horses so much. Were, were, was there any chance yeah. in, anywhere in your life was you molested by a horse no, or no, run no, over no, by a no, horse? No, or? No, no. Nothing gay, mm-hmm. nothing homosexual. Horse uh, try to, you know, I was on a stomp horse. You. I was riding a horse, and it just wouldn't do what it was supposed to be doing. Well, like, well you ever think maybe it couldn't? Now, yeah. it was a big horse. Oh, it was big mm. enough. It was a big horse, yeah, yeah. It wasn't a little Shetland pony. No, it? if I'd have got on a damn miniature horse, I would have fully expected him to act, you know, out. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. all four legs out. Yeah. <laughs> you know? yeah. But uh, I was on a big horse, and I was smaller, you know, and I was on a large enough horse to support a Oh, me. okay. And it just wasn't do. They're like, pull, pull on the right, you know, whatever, to make him go right. I'm like, all right, well, I'd pull on the right, he'd go left. <laughs> Like, pull back to make him stop. Well, I pulled back. He took off like a damn cannon. And I was like, shit. And so finally, we're, you know, because for whatever reason, riding four wheelers wasn't good enough that day. No. We had to ride horses. We wanted to ride a horse. Let's go ride some horses. Let's ride a live animal yeah, instead of these like, machines that are made for it. Yeah. I'm like, well, this thing has a mind of its own. And it did. And the problem was, is eventually we get done riding, you know, it's more like walking through a field on it, not riding it. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, stroll when we yeah. get done with our horse stroll right <laughs> and so it we there's a gate that we're getting out to go put these things back in their stalls or whatever and there's an electric fence all around the pasture we're in well my horse you know is either retarded or just is an asshole because he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing and so I'm, you know, I'm just sitting there waiting on whoever to open the gate and my horse just kind of starts eating some shit and wandering to the left and i'm like whoa 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 you know trying to pull him back to the right and he just wanders into the electric fence shocks my leg shocks him then he takes off for a little bit and i'm holding on you know and like, well you know so then i get him back and they're like you know put him put him back in their chute or whatever they came out of and yeah. so i'm trying to you know guide it into this thing and it's pulling away like it don't want to go in there i'm like i don't have any damn 
you know, horse treats to throw in there, and <laughs> nobody gave me a handful of carrots. I to entice him in with, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, just get in there, asshole. And, you know, he didn't – I don't even remember his name, but <laughs> – once I, <laughs> so they were like, you know, kind of back him in there because they're narrow. You know, they got to stay in there so they can look out. I'm like, no, hell with that. No. I walked him straight in there, shut the door on his ass. I'm like, nah, I don't. He can figure it out. <laughs> he can turn around if he wants to see bad enough. Yeah. You know? He'll figure he's, it out. He's a horse, you know. So <laughs> well, that was my experience with horse, and that's why I don't. They're just, you know, idiots. Yeah. I don't like them. You don't have to, you know. They're not good for meat unless you're Alistair Overeem. Yeah, or not, in France. Yeah, they're not good for... Do the French for, do that still? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Fact man. check me. Yeah, I need, they, don't they make glue out of horses? Yeah. Now that's glue. Now that's glue, boy. You got it. You know, the world revolves around glue because you, you, you got to stay together. What do they make it out of? They melt it down when they pass away? I, well, I don't know. Horse fat. Yeah, mm. I think it's, I think it got a squeezer, like a, you know... Juice, juicer, you know, they just juice yeah, like a processor, like yeah. a horse processor. Get all the horse juice out, <laughs> like a ninja bullet. You just stick on the back of a horse, it just sucks a little bit. Well, out. no, that's a the new farming attachment. Yeah, They're starting to make ninja bullets trailer yeah. edition. Yeah, <laughs> run up beside a horse, just suck some glue out of it. Yeah, <laughs> sucks the glue out of it, leaves the horse fine. Yeah. So it's, you know, it's okay. Sounds good. Maybe that's what's wrong with your yeah. horse that day. Maybe he had too much glue in him, and he Probably. needed to be drained of some glue. I wasn't going to drain it with no glue. <laughs> you know, if that's somebody else's that, job. Yeah, if they'd have told me that beforehand, and been like, "Hey, before we get to riding, we, you know, you got to drain him of his glue," I'd have been like, "That's gay, not doing it. You know? <laughs> not doing that. No, no, no." They no. so get that little handle you see right there. <laughs> yeah, and pull on it. Yeah, and the glue will come out. Like, nah, fam, I'm. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'm go. I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna call my dad on my flip phone and see if he'll come get me. You know. I'm also, gonna... I'm taking this four wheeler too, so I'm going to the end of the driveway. Yeah, I'm, I'm not getting out be of here. here. For this. If y'all gonna start, you know, de gluing some horses, <laughs> not me. Not me. Hey, Lord. Count me out. Yeah, Damn. don't don't do that with me there. Don't don't even do that with me there. Well, that's what happened. He hit that electric fence. He charged up that glue. I guess, Boy. dog. That make it like a hot glue gun. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm yeah. just saying. I'm just saying that's probably what happened. <laughs> well, why do they let me ask you this. Why do they shoot a cow with a twenty two? So it's just easy, it's quick. It's easy, quick, cheap. Yeah. And it don't make stays in them. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make as much it stays in I the bullet like, stays in them. You can tell the amateur he'll walk up with a shotgun and shoot him in the head. Well, yeah. Stuff goes everywhere. I'm right? not gonna say amateur because the guy who did that when I was around was a, you know, classically trained veterinarian. And he, you know, for some reason, a cow got stuck in a creek. <laughs> and so plan A was get the tractor, pull him out. Yeah. You know, so me and my Yank you know, him out. 11-year-old buddy are in a creek trying to put toe straps on a cow so we can get his fat ass out of the creek, you know. That who cast the twelve year olds with doing this? Come on now. Yeah, you know, like. and so then we figure out the tractor's not strong enough because this cow's fat. So now we got to go get a pickup truck. So me and my eleven year old buddy go get a pickup truck and come flying down a pasture into the woods, you know, dodging as many trees as we can and cutting down a lot of them. And now we have to back this up and hook the tow straps to the truck because it's got more power than this tractor supposedly. And so we're doing that, and then the cow starts screaming like it's in pain. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what happens when you tie a rope around its neck to drag it yeah. out. Yeah. Well, we creek. had a rope. Basically, we didn't know because we were being supervised, but very loosely. <laughs> you know? Obviously, very loosely. Yeah. So we had like one toe strap with the you know the hook on the toe strap around its leg, hooked to its leg. <laughs> you know, and we had one on each leg. So basically, we were going to just kind of decleat this cow and then drag him over here. So if he did get out, he's going to be crippled for life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, he's got, you know, he knew his day was over with the moment we he saw us fly down there in a pickup truck. <laughs> see that he's like, oh, yeah, going shoot. about 80 down through there yeah. into the woods at him. Yeah, he was down like, oh, a hill God. into a little, like, anyway. <laughs> so if we had to get through a gate. You know, and we didn't stop. You know, we didn't slow down to go through the gate. We're just right through it. And uh, so we get there. We, you know, we're tying him up, trying to get him out. And 
for whatever reason, dude, my buddy was just like real sad that this cow was in there. And I'm thinking, I'm, I got to go home later. You know, yeah, I'm like not going to be here all day. This can't this. be an all day thing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my dad's on the way to pick me up. So we got to either get this thing out of here or, you know, I got to go pack up my stuff. <laughs> and so, so, so we progress into now it's let's give it one more effort with pulling with the tractor and the truck. And see if we can see if get can it drag out. Drag it out. Yeah. And uh, it didn't work. And so now <laughs> it's progressed to, hey, now we got to put it down. You know, because for whatever reason, it was like, I guess they thought it'd be easier. Once it's dead, you can pull it any way you want to. You know, it's not yeah. going to hurt. You don't have to worry about yeah. feelings. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to. Right. You don't have to consider its feelings <laughs> then, you know. <laughs> and so uh, the the doctor goes and gets the shotgun the tool per se yeah. <laughs> yeah you know he's like all right i'll be right back and i thought he was going to get like a damn forklift or something we could just jack this thing out of there and scoot it back on land and, <laughs> like one know. of those extended forklifts the huge ones yeah you push in there to pick it up and he comes back. flying back down the hill on a damn dirt bike <laughs> with a you know with shotgun. an elephant gun strapped on yeah. his back <laughs> yeah, with a shotgun on his back and i'm like this is getting out of hand and so i'm like well, what's gonna happen indiana is, jones my and my 11 year old brain doesn't th- you know know what's about to happen because he hasn't told us and i guess my buddy had he kind of knew what was going on and he's like hey cover your ears and i was like all right so he's just gonna shoot this thing and you know scare it real bad so it's gonna run off yeah shoot <laughs> shoot behind it see if it yeah. works so uh, so now the cow's down in a va- in like in a little creek my buddy's in the mud down, i'm yeah, sure like yeah. two feet in mud right my buddy's kind of down here near it you know behind it i'm up on like a <laughs> the you know, ridge yeah i'm up on the You're ridge, on the away ridge from looking it. and you got the you got the best seats in the house for this yeah if they were doing like one of the you know medical theaters where people go in and watch a procedure <laughs> that I was, was up it there. <laughs> and uh so then the doctor gets in there and he's like all right boys cover your ears so i cover my ears you know and all right good doctor yeah i wish he would have said all right cover your ears and eyes because he <laughs> blew that motherfucker away <laughs> i mean he had that gun he's pow like from the behind the ear oh. or whatever and what's oh. funny is is i'm 11 i've never seen anything die like that mm-hmm so immediately, you know, I'm like, ah! <laughs> uh, yeah. First time you've seen a cow with no face. Yeah. And, but my buddy's standing kind of, you know, toward the back of it. Well. He just got his hands crossed and his head bowed like that. Yeah. He's just like. He knew what was Yeah, he knew what was He'd going been, on. <laughs> and, uh, but what's funny is, is I don't know, like, what the process is when you pass away and you, you know, what's it called? Void. Yeah, and then bowels. Right when that happens, I don't know how quick or the turnaround is, but for that cow, it was pretty immediate. <laughs> <laughs> and it wasn't like a, it wasn't like somebody had like a bag of, you know, like a grocery bag of water and just poked a little hole in it and just started dribbling out. No, nah. It was like when he got shot in the head, the rest of his shit went pow. Right out the back. It was like a ricochet. Shot it out of him. Like somebody blew the side off a fire hydrant. Yeah, exactly. And now my buddy is standing back there, and it's kind of, you know, not direct hit on him, but it's got, he caught some shrapnel. You know, basically. Some shrapnel. Yeah, he caught some shrapnel. And so it's on his arm, like his leg, and he had new shoes. I was like, what are you doing with new shoes? He had the new Nikes on out there. Yeah. And I'm still sitting up there in amazement that I just watched a, my murder, basically. You know? Damn. And I'm considering in my heart, well, who do I tell? You know, normally I'd tell a vet veterinarian that, hey, somebody murdered a cow, but the vet's the one that did it. He did it. Who do I even go to? Yeah. yeah. Who, do I, who can I tell? Yeah. Is this malpractice? <laughs> so, I don't know. Yeah. Like you a know. good, good rival that. Yeah. And Depends then, on if he was clocked in or not. Then the hilarity starts. <laughs> oh, that's not the funny part. Oh. <laughs> so, so then he's telling my buddy, hey, put the strap around that cow. We got to get it out of here. Put it like, around his neck. Yeah. So he, my buddy's like doing it real shitty. So, well, I mean, look what he's working with. I mean, what end is he tying up that's yeah. not messy? 
Yeah, basically he was not doing it well. You know, he tried to tie it around the tail of the cow. I'm like, that's just going to rip it off, you know. And so sure enough, doctor jumps down in there, starts strapping this thing up. He's like, all right, when I say it, y'all y'all go easy, and I'm going to go, we're going to pull it out. Okay, you know, and now I'm just riding. I'm not driving or anything. It's and probably so, a good thing. You're yeah. a little bit traumatized, I'd well, imagine. Right. Yeah. You know, because I was still screaming. Yeah, you just <laughs> – and then the doctor gets the idea. He's like, Caleb, you watch when the cow's coming up, and you tell us if we get it caught or something, we need to stop. I was like, <laughs> you know, luckily. Yeah. Well, are you going to hurt him or what? Yeah. Right. <laughs> now it's dead, so I don't have to consider its feelings. Yeah. But still, I don't want it to be, you know, ripped apart. <laughs> I don't want to watch it get ripped apart of anything. Yeah. <laughs> and so he, they, they start easing up, right? He's like, all right, give it a little gas. Well, you know, my 11-year-old buddy gave it a little gas. You know, kind of spun a little tire in the mud and darted, you know. And so now the cow is this way. They're kind of dragging it up. Well, now the cow's like, whoop. Ooh. Yeah. And, and his dad, he's like, stop, stop. Gets out, cusses him. He's like, what are you doing? You're a dumbass. You know? and, he, and I've never heard any of this. And I'm sitting there watching, and I'm like, I bet my dad's here. <laughs> I got to go home. I hope my dad's here. You know, then I'm pretending like I got a call on my, you know, watch. I think my dad's here. He said he's here. Yeah. Not in, not even a smart watch had been thought of at no. that point ever. No. Like, we didn't even have, have iPhones back then. So uh -uh. you were looking at a regular watch like, yeah, he I said a, he's here. I had a flip phone that I'd left in the house. <laughs> and uh, anyway, long story short, long story long, we get the cow out. A couple of days later, they buried it. And I thought, what are you buried it for? Yeah. What the fuck? You're a vet. Like, either bring it back to life <laughs> or. Yeah, I think that ship had saved Or harvest or it. Resurrect yeah. it for or field dress it. <laughs> yeah. One of the two. One of the two. Don't bury it. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? That's, that's a, weird. That's a waste, also. That's yeah. a lot of meat. You know? So, yeah, that was right, that, that, cow, that, uh, that pretty much quelled your dreams of becoming a veterinarian. Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Or a farmer. For that yeah. matter, I didn't know? want to do either. Yeah. I didn't want to, you know. <laughs> but serial killer still in play. Yeah, that one yeah, was kind yeah, of. That, you got that, that one moved up on the list. Serial killer. <laughs> yeah, that one moved up on the list. I was like, I don't, I don't want to do this. I definitely don't know about this. But you know, this one putting some things. Down, hey, <laughs> this one that looks relatively so simple. <laughs> I could make that happen. I think. Um, I was thinking yes, uh, yesterday when I was riding home. And I passed Applebee's. I don't ever even consider going to Applebee's anymore. I don't either. I used to love Applebee's when I was in high school. Mainly because that's just where we went, you know. But I don't even consider going there. And I thought, what are some restaurants that, like, I have go-to restaurants, right? Like, I'll go pizza. I'll go here. I want barbecue. I'll go here. You know, and I'll vary it a little bit if I decide, ah, let's try something new, you know. But what are restaurants that you don't even consider going to? Like, they don't even cross your mind. They might as well not even exist in your world. Fats. That's a good one. KFC. Another good one. Yep. Any sushi bar. Good one. Mm -hmm. Good one. You see, I don't do anything that makes love in the water. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a, good, that ain't happening. That ain't happening. That's yeah. a good philosophy. <laughs> now, I will say that I was on that same wavelength. I don't do no fish, right? If somebody fries up a little catfish, I might eat a little bit, you know, if they're having it and it's free and I don't have to go far. Like a fish fry? Yeah. yeah. Or like a little fried shrimp. I might taste a little bit of that. I'm never going to order it. But the sushi, I'll do a little bit of sushi mm -hmm. if it doesn't have fish in it. Mm -hmm. You know, so well, is it really sushi? It becomes a salad at that point. <laughs> yeah, basically, <laughs> yeah. basically. So it's, it's you know, the one chicken. I'll do will have like chicken and you know jalapeno and cucumber wrapped in rice. So is it really sushi, yeah. or is it? Now I'll do that, but yeah. seafood in there? Nah, I ain't yeah. doing that. No, I, I, I I thought sushi was yeah seafood i mm -hmm. didn't know that there could be a yeah. chicken sushi or oh, yeah. a beef sushi or a right oh yeah they pork they, sushi they're mixing I did it up nowadays that. yeah and i'd imagine you you might you might even try a little bit of well, that I, I, that's what good. i was gonna say now i yeah. might have to reconsider the sushi bar thing right knowing now that there is something other than the fish exactly mm -hmm. i'm on that same wave though captain d's they might as well burn all of them down i yeah. would never go to captain d's. i thought no. captain d's was out of business to be honest with you well it's funny because they built a brand new one over in east 
Grizzly. Brand new. Like, they tore down another restaurant to build a brand new Captain D's. It was open for four days, and then that shut down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what did y'all waste your money for? Well, now that, that is natural selection at its finest. Yeah, right now, there. and nothing will even move in there now. Now they're like, eh, that's, that's got a Captain D's shape to it. I don't think we need. Yeah, we don't even want to have the uh-uh. same shape to our building as that. Mm. <laughs> See, Jack in the Box, that's another one. Right? Yeah. I ain't, this thing ain't never had no desire to go to a Jack in the Box. Yeah, R.I.P. to Jack from Jack in the Box. Ever since he passed away, mm. man. They, it's not been the same. No. I I don't consider Jack in a Box. We had one here for a long time, and what's funny is, is I ate there one time. I think I got yeah. something from there one time, and then when it closed down, I was like, "Man, I kind of wish I'd have got more from Jack in a Box." I'm like, nah, "But you really don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're gonna be okay." I think yeah. that's just the fear of missing out. Yeah, you know, like I wish I could have is. the option to not go to Jack in the Box every day again. <laughs> you know, <laughs> right, right, because <laughs> exactly. I had that's that option missing. every day for about seven years. <laughs> yeah, that's and never took it up. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't consider Applebee's. I don't consider Captain D's. Um, I was trying to think of other restaurants that are, you know, nationwide. That see, now, I'm a I'm an anti Wendyite. Oh, mm-hmm. see, okay. I've eaten at Wendy's twice in my lifetime. Oh, uh. and both times I've gotten sick. Ooh, Ooh. no. So I don't do Wendy's. Huh. See, that's understandable. If I, yeah. you know, if I went a couple of places or you know a couple of times somewhere and got sick both times, yeah, shoot, I, I wouldn't go back either. I don't yeah. blame you one bit. I went through Wendy's the other day, didn't get sick, luckily, but I realized that I probably shouldn't go back. And it's going to sound real hateful when I say it, and if people cared enough to cancel us, this might do it. <laughs> but there was a, it was early, it's breakfast, breakfast at Wendy's, which is risky which is still new so it should be very good yeah and i like it but i pulled in and there i was the only one ordering and there were two cars there and two people working so one of those cars was for one of the workers and it had a sticker on the back and i just happened to notice it when i was pulling by it to go to the drive through and it's i don't remember the exact verbiage but it was something like uh it was like a rainbow and it said oh, i'm bad. gay as f and i thought shit you know i can't eat here anymore that'll, 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 no, that'll, it's done it for me I, yeah i can't i'd have backed out the driveway yeah <laughs> backed out of the drive through the yeah. wrong way yeah. 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 yeah yeah i just it's fine if you want to do that whatever but I don't need you handling my food. <laughs> yeah, dude. I you do you don't see a damn bumper sticker on my car saying I'm straight as fuck. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter. I I don't I don't have to cook food. Right. You know, like and it you don't matter. need to advertise your preference either way. Yeah, right. see that's my thing, dude. I don't I don't want people knowing what I like. You know, food, yeah. cars, and especially, you know, sexual orientation, dude. I don't yeah. that's you know. Sure. <laughs> That's kind of, you know, getting away from the point. Mine was is I didn't need anyone who might have been handling, you know, penis. Wieners. <laughs> we have wieners. Yeah, hot dogs. Handling my. No, I, I see what you're saying. You know, okay. croissant. Exactly. You, yeah. don't want, you don't want them putting, you know, the nacho cheese on your damn croissant. Or they should have been yeah. skins hot dogs. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> see? exactly. So I thought, well, <laughs> Wendy's is probably out now, you know. Um, but there's a ton of restaurants that I pass when I go to get food. That I never even consider going to. like Those are the filler restaurants. Yeah. It yeah. hit me last night that Applebee's is not even a consideration. Like, if I want a... And Applebee's has, you know, a bunch of shit. Mm-hmm. Literally. Mm-hmm. Just not real good food. Yeah, just a bunch of shit. But they got burgers. They got chicken items. They got steaks. They got... You know, shrimp. They got Shrimp. They pasta. got all kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, they got the all-you-can-eat... Is that the all-you-can-eat yeah. pasta place? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And I mean, whoever wakes up and thinks, <laughs> today I'm going to see how much pasta I can eat. I can physically yeah. fit in my mouth. Oh, no, that's Olive Garden. Sitting. Yeah. Is it Olive Garden? Olive Garden, yeah. Well, that, that, well we can add that one to the that list. That one's then, another one that I don't, that that I don't ever even consider going to. Last time no. I went to Olive Garden, I nearly uh, shit my pants <laughs> and lost a girlfriend who is now my wife, so could have altered my life going to eat pasta one day, <laughs> you know in a major way yeah olive garden almost flipped your life upside down yeah 100%. And it's funny to think back on th- like you don't realize a lot of those points in your life especially in the moment and even after the fact you don't think well that day i got sick from eating wendy's you know i had a fender bender that day 
but I just saw a you know mass shooting or something you know something yeah you know that you you forget yeah you know how that sets up your day if that fender failure. bender hadn't have stopped me from going to the bowling alley I could have been involved in that mass shooting mm-hmm. and you look back and you think that way and I think man that that day nearly changed altered the course of my life well was it an, was it Olive Garden's fault or did it just you just happened to be at Olive Garden today all that stuff almost went wrong definitely i do have some stomach issues you know and i'm not gonna pretend like i don't <laughs> but it, that was definitely olive garden uh, yeah. it because was, okay huh? whatever i ate was essentially the same thing that happened with that cow you know mm-hmm. i ate it and then it was like here we go <laughs> and i was like i got a 45 minute drive home you know i can't it's like you were trying to open up a beer on the side of a table and it's just shot off yeah yeah i got you yeah <laughs> it was a it was alarming and but the whole thing revolved around this 45 minute drive home that took him 22 minutes yeah <laughs> yes. 22 yeah minutes. we're all familiar yeah. where olive garden yeah. is yeah. in anderson correct okay mm-hmm. so that to mom and dad's old house which is where i was living at the time is about a 45 minute drive whichever way you go so I thought, I know I'm going to need to go to the bathroom, but I'll probably be fine. From the time I got from Olive Garden in the car to I-85 was about a four, three or four minute drive. And at that point, it kind of hit me. I was like, I'm going to need to go to the bathroom sooner than I anticipated. Before this drive is over, 100%. Yeah. If I do it according to the normal time. Right. And in my mind, instead of saying, now I'm trying to, you know, gauge it. Can I get time it out? Can I get home and be fine, or am I going to need to probably stop and you know ruin someone's bathroom? (laughs) So I start ruin a Texaco bathroom, right? I start calculating, mind figuring out places. Yeah, I'm like, there's a hotel here. This this you know doctor's office has a clean bathroom. (laughs) I'm sitting there thinking, eh, this gas station is not doable, but can be doable if necessary. Right. Okay. And I thought, no, you know what? I'll hop on 85. Go down as one, and I can speed on 85. I'll be fine. I take the exit, get on the interstate, and I start flying down the interstate. And I mean flying down the interstate. And then when you get off exit, you know, one is obviously the one that would be the closest to the house. Get off there. Now I'm on a, you know, two-lane highway, Highway 11. Thinking I can still get some speed on there. What's going to stop me is these back roads between <laughs> the neighborhood and Highway 11. That's going to be a hold up there. The bottleneck, per se. Blackjack yes. Drive is going to be your problem. Blackjack, mm-hmm. Dr. John's to uh, Tabor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I'm good. The car's going fast. You know, I got a little bit of air on. I'm good. <laughs> well, then, you know, the immediacy starts kicking in because now it's not hurting here it's kind of hurting in here and i'm like oh mm-hmm. shit. <laughs> damn it this isn't good you know because i know where it's headed good. next <laughs> yeah there ain't one place it can go there right mm-hmm. and uh i thought oh my god <laughs> and so i get on to highway 11 and i'm going faster than i ever should be going on highway 11 and then i start hitting the back roads and i'm like Going so fast. Oh, man. So damn fast. At one point in time, I was doing 100 miles an hour on Blackjack Road. Mm. And <laughs> now, that's pretty quick on Blackjack yeah. Road. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. pretty unsafe. See, you you going through all this like you in the car by yourself. Yeah, that was the thing. <laughs> I had a passenger in the car, <laughs> and she is now noticing I'm going way too fast. <laughs> yeah, like, mm. You know, and we're early on still in a relationship where it's not, you know, if I shit myself, it's not going to be cool. <laughs> mm you know i don't know if it's ever like cool <laughs> I, yeah. yeah i think it's i will say yeah i don't know if there's ever a okay time but it's more yeah. like understood yeah. after a certain time like ah oh, right yeah, you shit your pants yeah. yeah you know in the past however long we've been together well, how many years 13 14 years i've shit myself a couple times mm-hmm. you know i'm not proud of it but it happened it is what it is you know shit happens exactly <laughs> and a lot of times i do my best thinking when i'm pooping so i'm yeah, we've already established right. that, that you sit and think a lot. Yeah. So I'm, you know, now I'm doing 100 miles an hour down Blackjack Road, and she's taking note. You know, where now it's like, you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. 
Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. I you just know, love my, driving fast. Deep down in Sweat before that you eat. Deep down in my heart, I know I'm not fine. <laughs> I'm anything I'm but fine right now. <laughs> and so we get probably four or five miles from the house, and I have to own up to what's happening. <laughs> you know, because now I'm sweating, <laughs> and now I've cut the air off. And I've turned the radio off because that matters. Yeah, that, <laughs> that <laughs> helps. That helps yeah. me Those go Those radio waves, they yeah. stir yeah. things Something up. Something was happening, you know. And <clears throat> So I got my heated seat on, and I'm like, all right, just, I'll be fine. You know, so now I'm owning up to what's happening. And she's like, oh, well, that's okay, you know. I'm like, nah, it's okay right now. It's not, a, it's not okay yeah, at all. In a few all. minutes, it's not, not okay. going to be good. If we hit a hard bump or something runs out in front of us, it's not going to be okay anymore. <laughs> you know? And uh, so. She wouldn't be near as understanding. No. no. No, 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 no. And so now we're on the home stretch. We're a couple miles from the house. And I'm you know, darting in and out of this thing in a damn Ford Expedition going faster than it should ever go. <laughs> I said uh, something, and I noticed she was kind of holding on to the you know, handle real tight, and I was like, it's going to be fine. We're going to be okay, I bet. <laughs> I <laughs> bet. And I said, hey, I don't want to you know, be weird. She's like, this is already weird. Yeah, we, <laughs> you know. Too late. We've been flying for the past 20 minutes. Yeah. This is weird. I said, uh, but I'm going to have to you know, kind of dart in the house when I get there to make sure. I guess. And uh, <laughs> so I make it. I make it, right? I run in the house. Full run sprint. in the house. <laughs> And instead of going to the most immediate bathroom, I said, let me go on down to my room. You know, so I run in the house, run down the stairs, get to the bathroom. Everything's fine. You know, for the most part. It's not fine. I've, I've made it. Yeah, it's not fine. Yeah, everything's fine for you. The bathroom is a different story. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I've made it and everything's going to be okay now. <laughs> Once the repairs are done, it'll be okay. Yeah. And so luckily mom's there, Josh is there, and, and I'm pretty sure dad's there. So it's not like she just has to you know, come in and wait on me. She comes yeah. in and starts talking to them and. So I, you know, do what I need to do, and then I get done, and I'm like, I feel horrible. Not for anything that I did, not the driving, Mm -mm. but, like, I feel bad. So I go, I just get done, I go lay on my bed. And don't go find her, don't go (laughs) make sure she's fine, you know. Now you got a tummy ache. Oh, it (laughs) felt like, it felt like a damn donkey had like been kicking my stomach like a speed bag <laughs> so i'm laying on the bed i'm just hurting finally she comes out here she's like you okay i'm like i don't know i think i'm dying i might be dying yeah and so go get the vet with the shotgun i just not gonna- yeah yeah he called doc see if he'll bring a shotgun in here and- <laughs> bring a shotgun so after that never considered olive garden again Mm-mm. never considered that's it. about the way i was the funny thing about this whole thing is is i can picture when he parks at the house, okay, and this happened on the golf course a few weeks ago. He jumps out, holding up his britches like this, yeah. <laughs> holding his hand, and I said, "I don't want to go, motherfucker." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's similar, you know. It's, but I knew that day Same where I was going. Same type of thing. Yeah, I knew exactly what was happening that day. Yeah, you knew where you were at and where you needed to be. Yes, you know. Yeah, and in my mind, that was the best way to get there, was to go fast and put both of our lives in danger so I don't you know, shit myself. <laughs> well, Instead of using a dirty you know, gas station bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was either both of your lives or your relationship, and that's what you wanted to sa- you know, salvage, yeah. the relationship. And you did. Yeah, if, if you know? in all honesty, and this is going to sound really bad, but if we had you know, had a wreck and died, we'd have you know, both went to heaven together, I bet. That's right. That's right. And it would have been fine. Yeah. They have clean bathrooms. Put, put, like, plus, oh, I hope. Hey, plus you'd have avoided yourself anyway. Yeah, I was going to yeah. say, you would have at least got right. to shit. Then it I would have had it a reason. been fine, but you would yeah. have got to shit. Yeah. You know. <laughs> then I probably wouldn't have been the only one. So <laughs> that would have been fine. Now, Earl, you were saying you had an experience? Same. Oh, yeah. The Wendy's. That, similar. Oh, yeah. Similar uh, chain of events. Yes. You know. Mm-hmm. Yes. Uh, don't remember the outcome whether i made it safely or not i, I may yeah. not have i don't remember but if you don't remember it you probably blocked it out and yeah, I bet you yeah i yeah. probably did it was probably so bad i can't <laughs> yeah. i think uh, that's yeah. why uh the last way. time you upgraded and got I, a new truck yeah that's when i got my regular cab truck shortly after <laughs> oh, i think that's what happened with uh chick-fil-a's uh what is it the Chicken sandwich the, that they mix up with the mayonnaise and stuff. What was it chicken, chicken salad, salad sandwich? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, that's why they get rid of that at Chick-fil-A because 
a couple people i think got sick yeah yeah well you, if you there's one thing that, you man. shouldn't be doing with mayonnaise it's warming it up yeah i don't know many people who i don't eat mayonnaise and i don't like many people who do but i know there's one thing you don't need to do with mayonnaise and that's get it you know percolating yeah you don't want to get it hot yeah. <laughs> i don't know if it's chick-fil-a or arby's or one of these got a commercial out now and i'm a commercial critic you, yeah. you know mm-hmm. you, you need to know it says what do you like about the new uh, whether it's chick-fil-a arby's whatever chick-fil-a, Chick-fil-A yeah. sandwich yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the best part about it is the chicken <laughs> was the answer and I'm like, who saw that coming? Yeah. I would have thought it would have been you the, know, bread. the pig, the bread, the butter the on bread. the bread. But yeah. the best <laughs> part about this new Chick Fil A sandwich was the chicken. Yeah. Now, what genius come up with that promotion? Yeah, I've yeah, seen well, those commercials, yeah. and they do them with a lot of their stuff. You know, they they introduced mac and cheese a while back, mm-hmm. and the basic gist of the what do you love about Chick Fil A's mac and cheese is Man, it is cheesy. Creamy, I believe. Creamy. One of the words they it's use. creamy. Cheesy. They have noodles in it. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, so they well, did it right? Yeah, what'd you yeah. expect? Yeah. So, so they made a mac and cheese, huh? Yeah. I mean, but then one of them got too detailed. They were like, what do you like about the uh, the new spicy uh, grilled sandwich? They were like, my God, that lettuce. <laughs> that lettuce <laughs> that is that crisp. Lettuce is incredible. <laughs> Yeah, that so, let us. I bet it's farm near you know heaven. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. now don't even get me started on the tomatoes. Yeah, my God, oh, the tomatoes. Oh, yeah. Well, what about be more ripe? Hold up, what about the chicken? Chicken's oh, good. Yeah, it had yeah, that pretty, too. Pretty good. Yeah, chicken's yeah, okay, right. I guess. <laughs> and the the toasted wheat, you know, honey wheat bun. It's on my God, <laughs> my God, like, makes me want to fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. So you're saying we probably shouldn't get that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Or if we get it, just leave the chicken off. Yeah, just leave the chicken. Make it yeah. a make it a vegetarian sandwich. Yeah, make it an LT. You know, <laughs> lettuce tomato yeah. only. Yeah. Give uh, me a chicken sandwich. Hold the chicken. Hold yeah. the chicken, please. Yeah. Now Can they I got that in a lettuce. Uh, <laughs> can't even say a lettuce wrap. Yeah. A lettuce lap. Put lettuce it in a lettuce wrap. wrap. Can I get that in a lettuce wrap? It's just that's just a tomato in there. Yeah. Yeah, I know. That's Wrap right. up a tomato in some lettuce. Portable salad, please. Yeah. <laughs> Put it and, in a... Handheld salad. Yeah. Do y'all remember when McDonald's did them uh, shaker salads? Mm-mm. They put a salad in a oh, cup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah, shook yeah. it up. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 It was thinking, so what's the best yeah. part about the shaker salad? The shaking. Yeah. <laughs> I just put the dressing in there. I shake it up. It's you know, without the turd lid. and rabbit pellets, but you can shake it. You can shake it up. <laughs> That's what they're selling, just the shake. Yeah, the shaking of it. But they don't give you directions. You're like, just put the dressing in there and shake it. Like, well, now that shit's all over my truck. <laughs> you know? I didn't put the lid on yeah. there. I didn't say nothing about putting the lid yeah. back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Some people should just not be allowed to do commercials mm-hmm. and also eat at Olive Garden. I, I think like. it should be a federal law that all commercials have to be approved by me before they can go on air because there's some of them that are just like what the hell are you thinking well not only that but i think we're fixing Mm -hmm. to say the same thing make the food look like it's gonna look when when i eat it you you can't do that you couldn't put the picture on tv because yeah when you go to hardy's and get their what is that? Three monster three burger, thick burger, yeah. burger, burger, yeah. whatever. Yeah. It don't heart attack look thick nothing burger. Uh-huh. like what they showed you on TV. No, no. on TV it looks majestic. It no. looks like the biggest burger you've ever seen with grill marks and hanging, crisp, somebody somebody hanging outside the bun. Yeah, you know. somebody took twenty minutes building that burger. On yeah. see on TV. Yeah, use but a little that one torch minute to one, you know toast it. Yeah. You open it up. And you got you know half a bun and it's scattered everywhere yeah. and it some like of the damn bun got and, and it's you know, upside down. Yeah, yeah just you no. get it the cheese like, on the damn top of the patty. Yeah, you know, it looks like yeah, cheese is on just one on the side top of, the, of patty. the top of the bread. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's a whole thing. You know, they almost forgot it and tried to push it in the side. Yeah. <laughs> it look a lot of times when I get fast food like that, it looks like they made the thing to the commercial right they made the little burger to the commercial mm-hmm. and then they were like put it in the bag jeff 
and to get it in the bag, somebody pitched it to Jeff, and he whacked it with a baseball bat <laughs> yeah. into a bag. Into a bag. Into the bag. Or, or, or throws it up like he's building a pizza, you know, and catches yeah. the dough, you know, and it, that's the way you throw yeah. it in there. <laughs> yeah. That's just – it's just commercials are misleading, as really? I think 100%. ultimately what we're saying. Because mm-hmm. I, like, I like the new Chevrolet commercial, the new, the new truck. Mm-hmm. You don't even need a road. No. Yeah, I'm going to take my $80,000 truck and run it off into the middle of God knows nowhere and scratch it and tear it all to hell. Yeah. That's what I'm going to spend my $80,000 on. That's right. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, like a rock. Like a rock. <laughs> oh, fi- but their theme is finding new roads. Oh, yeah. But their commercial says, well, well hell, you don't road. even need a road. <laughs> finding new roads, what's the fucking point? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's Chevy's new thing. Finding new no. roads. So what I'm hoping now is instead of critiquing commercials, mm-hmm. as I do quite briefly, I can download apps on my iPhone. There you go. That's you right. See. So that's, yeah. that, was, that was part of my reason behind upgrading. Was they probably got an app maybe for I can, it. Well, now you can, yeah, you can get an app and actually critique it. And you, you know, see, instead of just see, telling us. This, <laughs> this <laughs> thing's coming together. This is all coming together. Things are happening in Little Earl's world. <laughs> Chevrolet, find new roads. Just shut your eyes and go. <laughs> That's it. If the brakes don't stop you, something will. Yes, yeah, eventually something yeah. will. <laughs> yeah, you'll find a road probably. <laughs> like, what? like a rock. Yeah. Okay, they, Thank God it's like a rock. a rock. Yeah, they can't just toss that in on the end and make everything okay also. Yeah. <laughs> I love the new uh, the Ford commercial. It's, it's uh, the F-150, but it's the new F-150 that... The gear Correct. shifter folds down into the column, and there's a table that comes out, like a picnic table for your friends. And But it's one guy with a dog who rides into the woods. Builds a cabin. Yeah, yeah. builds a damn yeah, cabin. Like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? You just I bought, bought a truck. Now I'm going to go build a cabin. Yeah, now I can build and my that, cabin. That was the funny part. A lot When he first starts building the can, cabin, he's, hand, he's using hand tools to yeah. do everything. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, there at the end, ah, oh, this new feature. They've got a 110 plug in the back. Yep. Well, you dumbass, why didn't you get you some power tools to start yeah. with? You'd have been yeah. done four weeks yeah, ago. You could have had yeah. the cabin built and then went on a trip to find a new truck. Yeah. You know, you yeah. came back to your cabin. Yeah, you didn't have to damn, you know, Methuselah this whole cabin up. You could have plugged in and just fixed it in a day or so. But it's good to know that as long as you buy a new F-150, you can finally use power tools. Yeah, yeah. You know, and good build a cabin. Yeah. yeah, and I guess the, that's a added feature, like on the window stickers, like leather seats, mm-hmm. you know, 110 volt in the bed. Yeah, sunroof. Yeah. yeah, sunroof. Knowledge of how to build a cabin, you know, $800. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> well, this guy wasn't too smart anyway, because what happened is, you know, he, with his pickup, you know, start building it, you know, drives up in the dark and everything. Well, he gets this new truck, and he plugs in his lights. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he can see how to build at night. Right. But he's mm-hmm. still got that hand saw. Because yeah. uh, you only yeah. got one plug. Yeah. Right. And it's going so, to the light. And God Either forbid you pl- run saw, a power strip. Yeah, forget. Right. Yeah, no. Power strip would be too much. Yeah. Or use the, you know, $1,300 LED headlights. Mm-hmm. You know. Nah, that'd be too much. Right. <laughs> Too much light. Yeah, too much light. Don't don't want to aim and right at me. I need overhead. 